Hi and welcome to our channel. In this special voiceover only episode, we bring you to one of the greatest onsen town of Hokkaido, Nobori Betsu. A visit to an onsen town will not be complete without spending a night in it. And so, we splurge a little and book the best raikwan in Nobori Betsu, the Daiichi Takin Motokan. It has the largest onsen in the whole of Hokkaido. So, buckle up and join us as we savor the onsen buffet of Nobori Betsu. Our journey started at a car rental shop near New Chitose Airport. After we picked up our car, we drove approximately one and a half hour to the onsen town of Nobori Betsu. A demon statue greeted us while we were driving into the town. Many of these demons can be seen all around the town. Our room is a standard traditional Japanese room. It was really spacious and have modern facilities. After we checked into our room, as we were eager to check out the onsen, we changed into the yukata. On the way to the onsen area, we walked past the main building of the hotel. Standing at the main building of the hotel is the iconic two stories high mechanical okanabo, the Devil's Cup. It is 9 meters tall and it used to perform for hotel guests. Sadly, the performance has stopped since April this year. The onsen area of the hotel is called the Grand Bath and it really lives up to its name. The bath area is massive. The gender segregated onsen has 35 baths and 5,000 square meters of space. The onsen consists of 5 out of the 10 different mineral springs officially recognized in Japan. Yes, half of them. One of the pools has also a very nice view of Nobori Betsu Jikoku Dani. The Hell Valley. Apart from the various pools, the Grand Bath also has the following facility which we thought were quite interesting. After we were done using the onsen, we stopped by the Raikan Onsen Drinking Fountain and we drank a small cup of onsen water each. The onsen water is said to have health benefit and it actually tasted okay. It didn't have a strong sulfur taste which was good. Up next was a visit to the town attractions. As Nobori Basu was an onsen town, we kind of assumed people will be wearing their respective hotel yukata while exploring the town. Our assumptions were wrong. We were kind of the only one who wore them. While we were out, we first visited the iconic Nobori Basu Jikoku Dani. A massive hill filled with steam and it was quite a sight. It was unlike the other Jikoku of the other onsen town which we have visited. We also visited the center geyser at the Nobori Batsu Jikoku Dani, which is known as Tencent Ike. It didn't have any hot bubble while we were there though. Our next attraction was the Gargling Hot Spring Lake, or Yunuma. In order to get a view of it, we hiked up an observatory from the Nobori Batsu Jikoku Dani. After we were done visiting the attractions, we walked to the main shopping street of the town. Even though it was the main shopping street, it was very quiet while we were there and we were kind of the only few people on the street. On the street, there are restaurants, souvenir stores, convenience stores and a small shrine, but more on that later. Our dinner included the following snacks. This is the Hokkaido specialty corn flavor snack called Sapporo Okaki o Yaki Tokibi. This is another specialty of Hokkaido called the Saporoku Rugeku Pakunchen. This is really good. It is soft, a little sweet, and has a slight orange flavor to it, which Sean likes it a lot. This is a great souvenir to bring back home. While we were resting in our room, a staff of the Raikan came to our room to help to set up our futon for the night. We ended our night with another visit to the Grand Bath. Today, our morning started with another visit to the Raikan Grand Bath again. Shortly after we were done, we checked out the hotel and as it was around 10 a.m., we were just in time to see the face changing performance of the King of Hell at the Enmado, Shrine of the King of Hell. To be honest, it was kind of an underwhelming experience. Before we left Dovery Batsu, we stopped by the Sengen Park. 
This park was built around a geyser to commemorate 150 years of hot spring bathing in Nobori Betsu. And approximately every 3 hours, the geyser will erupt with rolling steam for around 50 minutes. We were pretty lucky to witness it while we were there. It was really very very misty and steamy. At the park, there is also the 9 clubs of the hot spring auger gods. They were in different colours and each of them possesses different powers. But you can only see 8 out of the 9 clubs though. The ninth club, which is the Okanabo, a gold club, is buried and left in the park. Oh wait, isn't the huge mechanical club in the Raikan called Okanabo as well? Hmm. And that's all for our vlog on Novori Betsu. We hope you find it informative and entertaining. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you would like to watch more of such videos. We will see you on our next video. Bye bye! largest cemetery in Hokkaido. We are not in Holland, we are in... Thank you for watching. Do hit the like and subscribe button for more travel related.